Greetings. Welcome to the DM's Rant. Greetings. You're watching Dungeons and Coffee. My uh, craft videos are long overdue. I went to Gary Khan, had a lot of fun there. And my intention was to continue with my videos as soon as I got back. But a lot of things have been on my plate. I've been uh, really sick lately. It took me a while to recover from some of that. I'm still not completely recovered, but um, so that's kind of ongoing. So I haven't, uh, haven't made any craft videos since then. Um, I'm also working on uh, a couple of game projects with a, a friend of mine, and that's been a lot of fun. So it's taken up a lot of my time. Not to mention <laughs> my, my, actual, uh, my actual job that I go to every day. So anyway, uh, just some thoughts I wanted to share with you. Um, this is a question that somebody posed on um, one of the Facebook pages that I keep up on, just so I can kind of keep up on the other minds of other gamers out there in the world. And um, loosely, it says this. Um, this person has been uh, reading a campaign setting source book. And uh, it lists some places of interest in, in main towns and cities. But uh, doesn't really give as much detail as this particular uh, DM thinks they need. So uh, the question at the end here of this statement is, are there any other source books that flesh this out or is it the DM's call and what caught my attention about this was the uh, the comments well there's probably been a lot more comments since I saw this thing but at the time that I saw it the uh, the three comments at the time were something like this uh, this person suggests uh, another source book this person here suggests a collection of source books um, these are all Fine answers, by the way. Um, this person here suggests another supplemental source book. The last suggestion here comes from someone that um, they say they've been playing for many, many, many years. So, that being said, I want to give my, my feedback on it. Well, my thoughts are simply this. It's always the DM's call. The source books are guides. Um, perhaps you're from a school of thought and um, you like the idea that you want everything to be exactly what the source books say. You want to memorize all this. You want to be, uh, you want your campaign setting to show the exact same thing in Castle B that the other person's campaign uh, shows in Castle B. That's okay if that's your bag. But keep in mind, it's always, ultimately, the DM's call. So if you need to know, if you know there's a castle there, but you need to know what's in that castle, and you can't find the answers... That's up to you. Create. Weave the story. Design the innards of that castle. Because that's, that's what puts your flavor in there. Uh, you, don't e you don't really need a campaign source book at all unless you just want one. Um, you're the campaign source. The DM. And let's not forget that... I believe I heard this from good old Frank Mincer uh, a time or two. I think I've read it here and there since then as well. Gary Gygax, he didn't even like the idea of printing adventure modules. Uh, he just wanted to sell the idea or, or the, the formula to help DMs create their world, to create a story, you know, the story of the group. And um, he really didn't like the idea of adventure modules. He was um, eventually talked into it. Dollar signs probably made a difference, but that wasn't his real intention. His intention was to empower the DM to create, not to tell the DM, you know, what the story was, but to just give the DM the tools he needed to uh, create a story for his players. So that was the original intention, and so that's uh, that's one of the strong reasons I always stick to the uh, the old school concept. Of it's always the DM's call. I have plenty of source books myself, and I love each and every one of them. There's uh, so many things I've gotten out of those those old books over the years, and even even today I'll pull out you know the the classics over uh, that newer CGI. Thanks again stuff. for watching. Um, oh, until until next time.